Eccentric Nation. Welcome to another episode of New Paradigm. And today I don't have to just ignore the church people living at the background if you can hear them. As you know, Saturday and the Seventh day Adventist Church are right down the road. But, anyways, today I want to discuss why modern relationships are failing. Why modern relationships don't work at all. What's, what exactly is the problem? What's wrong? What's going on? So, I kind of want to dive into that now because, I mean, it's a thing that really affects all the people. So, it needs to be spoken about, right? So, let me get into it. I believe that the two main reasons, uh, the two main things that cause relationships to fail uh, these days are competition and the constant need for validation. And I'm going to explain so, competition. So, people feel like they need to compete with everybody else because people don't look at their partners these days as human beings, as actual partners that they're supposed to spend the rest of their life with. They see their partners as prizes. Look at what I got. I got the richest man. So, I can go to a hotel now, go cock up on the people them balcony and take a picture. I'm going to a pool, go take a picture and make every girl say, my hot. And we can't take picture and we can't change bikini suit often because I'm man of money. Look at what I got. I got the browning, I got the pretty browning with the cut body and the stiff breast and the long hair. I make a like hottest girl out of my friend. Them. And we have the hottest girl them around here. Competition, I compete with everybody else and I actually look upon the person who I are there with. You just run and go pick up anybody because they look like a prize, they look good. Oh, this is pretty, let me get it. Bullshit. Nobody not care about the qualities what a person supposed to have. No man, you just want to know, say your baby mother hot and you have one of the hottest baby mother them. So a uh, girl pretty, girl body cut, girl look good, girl forget breed. Girl hair pretty, so that means a girl forget breed so you can have cool the picnic. You not care if this female possess the qualities, the attributes of a woman and a mother. No man, she look good so if you breed her, I must breed it. No all your friend the tell you say you not breed yet. You fucking idiot. I don't go lie. Not gonna make you feel like a top man more than when you walk in a party with a hot girl at your foot. Hot girl at your side. Everybody I turn around and look at you because you are a man. So yeah, man, you feel good and the competition that I talk about. You have the hottest girl in a party, so you're good. You don't care about the actual uh, attributes, the actual things or this, this woman, the qualities that this person is supposed to have to make her a woman. No man, she look good once the outward appearance is good and people can validate and say yes, you have something nice, then you're good with that and you run gone with it. And then when fuckers start, when problems start because none of them are spiritually mature and none of them understand the process of what it takes to have a functional relationship, when you just see the idea, as Curly Lux always say, when you see the idea but you don't know the process, so you see the idea of having a pretty girl, you don't know what a pretty girl come with, the amount of stress will come with that. The girl see the idea of having a rich man so she can go to a hotel and so she can change her wig every fucking two weeks and that's all I'm care about. And then the problem starts in the relationship now. We don't want to run away. No, work with you. That you choose. Take a side and stay on it. Once you can get somebody for envy you know, for you know, seemingly perfect relationship, on a good, no matter the fuck you are going inside a relationship, I just the outside validation so that lead with the validation, because no people people just can't be comfortable with what they like. They must be ensure that them audience like it as well. So if if a girl get a man now, and she find the man exciting and the man is uh, interesting, and her audience and her audience on social media and her friend them think the man in ex. Uh, exciting as well and the man interesting and the man nice yeah man so she love him but as soon as the people them get tired of him as soon as her friend them get tired of him she go find every fucking fault with the man because she seek her validation outside herself somebody or some or a group of people have to validate whatever she do in order to she do it she tie up her identity in her subjective things crazy so the reason why relationships now work these days are because people now objectively love each other. People are treat each other as prizes rather than partners. Partners for life. 
them I treat them as prizes look what I got I got something nice I got this and you don't hey do you like what I got if you like what I got tell me so I can keep it that is basically how them I go about relationships these days and that's wrong take your freaking relationship off social media you see me build a foundation set a foundation for you and your partner that is what marriage is marriage and I put ring on finger and say hi do no marriage are the, are the coming together of two people in love and harmony deciding to do this through sickness and in health that our marriage is and until you can understand that might as well stay out of relationship I advise every young youth these days if you stay out of relationships work by yourself and build yourself get that, that which you want out of life set a foundation so when you're actually ready for a serious relationship and a family you can have that stability because that is what you need so love the relationship alone build yourself work by yourself if you're a nine to five person then uh go to get, get the good job and get promoted in your job so you can get a good position or can last for years if you're a business person, then start your business and build your business from the ground. If you're a musician, then go to your studio and do what you need to do. Master your freaking craft and leave them girl alone. Stop trying to build relationships. Stop trying to build people who know and build themselves. Love them alone. Make them destroy themselves, but don't make them bring it down with them. Leave relationships alone until you, 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 you know say you work on yourself. Same thing for the woman. If you know say so you're depressed and you're moody and you're bipolar, then love people boy pick me alone and don't try to bring your freaking stress in a relationship and things so that people are supposed to deal with that. People are supposed to deal with that. You're supposed to work on yourself first before you try to take up somebody. So in conclusion, ensure that you are mentally, emotionally and financially stable before you try to go into a relationship. Ensure that when you are going into a relationship, you look at the person you are going to be with as an individual whom you are going to love unconditionally and not as a prize. Learn about the person first. Spend time with the person. Don't just jump in or something or feel say, as you get a little fuck, uno day. As the girl gives some front of your girl, as the man gives, gives some dick and cry out of your man. You don't know the person you're going to jump in a relationship with each other. And that's why it not work. Because people not spend the time to learn about each other and know each other and know what they really want. People don't even know what they want for themselves. So when, when you get something, you don't even show it for that you want, so you're confused. It's a crazy world. So, work on yourself. Build yourself first. Look at your partner as an individual love that person unconditionally and make things work that's my advice for you now.